What's going on my dual sporter friends? Today I'm going to be installing the IMS 3 gallon gas tank on my 2008 WR250R. And at the end of this video, I've got a cool tip for a solution on the gas cap. You'll still be able to have your tank bag live on top of your new IMS tank. Here is what comes with your IMS 3 gallon tank. Obviously stickers. But you're going to have your new gas cap with a breather tube. You're going to have a new O-ring for the fuel pump. And then you're going to have, uh, I think there's shrouds. I believe these guys go up front here where your fairing connects on. And then we have the gas tank. Now for removing our gas tank, we're going to have to kind of disassemble a lot of the bike. I've already got a video for how to replace the fuel pump to go ahead and disassemble. Links down below or I'll put the shortcut here or there for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and just jump ahead to the part where we're going to be installing the IMS tank. Now what we need to do is start transferring parts from our OEM tank over to our new IMS tank. You're going to need to be taking off the seat here. It just looks like a Phillips. We need to take off this back piece and we're going to take off this front piece here and then I'm going to take off the fuel pump. And these guys, basically this is where the seat's going to go. This is where your fairings will screw in so we don't need to worry about attaching anything there. On the back of the tank, we're going to attach that back portion from here to there and then the same thing with the part that was up front, that's going to go right up there and then we're gonna put in the fuel pump. All right, starting with where the seat mounts, I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy off. Now we're gonna attach the seat mount to our IMS. And starting from the back here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two bolts. They are eight millimeters. All right, now it's all mounted in. Don't need to go crazy tight. Um, just make sure it's nice and snug. And then now we're gonna move up and take off the front on our OEM and then it's gonna go on the front. So kind of a repeat process here. Now for transferring our fuel pump over to our new IMS gas tank, we're gonna need to take off all these bolts here. It's gonna be a three millimeter Allen key. And I recommend going diagonally just to make sure it's evenly um, for distribution for pulling it off and then we're going to do the same thing when we get here we're going to just go evenly down so it sucks on uh, but we'll get to there so i'm going to go ahead and uh, remove these guys um, also to just to point out make sure that this spigot is facing the same way so that's the top of my tank there so we want to make sure when we go to this new tank we want to make sure that spigot is pointing the same way now that we have all the bolts removed, we can go ahead and pull this collar off. And we'll set that off to the side, we'll reuse that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our fuel pump out. And it looks like my uh, seal already came off, and that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and replace that guy. So we don't need that anymore. And we're gonna put on the seal that came with the IMS tank. There's the new O-ring that was supplied with the IMS. And we're gonna go ahead and install this back in. But you'll see that the collar will fit with your fuel pump. So as long as you have your spigot facing up, this collar fits perfectly onto in its grooves, you'll be all set to go. And then when you go to tighten it down, just do it evenly. I like to do hand tight. I go across and just hand tighten everything down. And then I use my three millimeter Allen key to tighten it down. You just slowly work your way to getting these all cinched down evenly. For installing your gas tank, you're gonna just do the reverse order. So you'll put your fuel line back on, you'll put the electrical connector back on to here, and we'll flip it back over, and then we'll mount it back up in the front, and then the two in the rear. Now, the last step really is we need to put on these shrouds. This is what's gonna hold your fairing on. The right side looks like, you know, we don't have a lot of gap, to be able to get the clips right there on, on our fairing. So that'll be a little tricky. We'll find out if it is or not. But at this point, now you just start assembling your bike back together. And just remember, you're gonna need to hook into that clip. Then you can start bolting down. 
Okay, so as I suspected, this little guy um, actually is, when you tighten it all down, it sucked in too close to the plastic. So I just took my screwdriver and ever so slightly just kind of bent it out just a hair. This side turned out really clean. A little bit of difficulty as we know with that shroud, but easy to manipulate that. Also over here, the plastic, you know, it just didn't line up 100%. I double checked everything. It all looks good. So it just might be how it is. If you think I'm missing something, let me know. But again, everything lined up. I think that's just part of having a larger gas tank. And if you're not gonna be doing a tank bag, then this is what you'll be rocking is the uh, breather tube just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, put gas in, make sure this fires up. And then uh, I'll show you my locking gas cap and put the tank bag back on. So it's still pretty cool that, you know, our uh, low fuel light still comes on because it has the electronics. And I only put a little bit of gas in here, so it's already reading empty tank. This is the Acebus locking gas cap. It also acts as a breather. So now we can eliminate that breather tube. Now, one thing I noticed when it's unlocked is, let's see, go ahead and do it like that. So now it's unlocked is that I can actually twist this and sometimes it comes off. Um, so just keep that in mind that you don't wanna crazy over tight it. I mean, I'm right there, that's pretty tight. So then now when I go to lock this guy, it's just gonna free spin. So there's no way that's coming off from there. Voila, there it is, all buttoned up, ready to go for its next adventure. Super happy with it, took it out for a spin. Couldn't even tell that this is actually higher up. You can see that it's higher up, but it really feels like stock. So if you're looking to increase your range on your WR250R, I highly suggest getting one of these, at least the three gallon. Um, it's just gonna add that much more mileage to your, your trek and not have to fill up as often. And it comes out looking nice and clean. Hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments down below, and I'll help you out there. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers!